Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Real quick, I'm going to do the Summons to the Keep and Duin Rin quest line. I have not watched the cinematic, I know very little about the quest, I have not been spoiled. So I'm going to do the quest, you're going to see my little reaction to the cinematic. I'm not much of a reactor, but who knows, if it's truly epic then I might. And then I'm going to talk about it a little bit, see if, if there's any development. If there is, we're going to discuss Anduin. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> this guy's Grand Marshals, or this lady's Grand Marshals, Let's just give her a bow. I have to say, the Legion skyboxes are just so fucking cool. Like, got that beautiful mirror of the Nighthold, Tomb of Sargeras, the Fellstorm. The art team always do an amazing job, I have to say. Alright, so we're gonna go collect summons to the keep. I wonder who actually gives you that. Just a footman? The officer. Oh, Royal Guard. Somebody's getting Dragon Wrath, so it was cool to see. Remember what I got on my mage? Good times. That royal Stormwind music, I love it. We got an RP walk in here, of course. Look at this army of people in here doing this quest. I, I turned in the compass yesterday. Oh shit, he's gone. Nice. Cool. Is he just in the Cathedral District, or the Cathedral Square, or is he actually in the Cathedral? Okay, he's actually in the Cathedral, that makes sense. King Grayman said he'd be coming. Okay, so they actually respond to me. Oh my god, look at the army of people over here. This isn't even that high pop of a server. My father was a legend, you're damn right he was. I wear his crown, hold his title, but I've never done anything to earn them, or the faith of my people. Ah, oh, wow. So he kind of gets that he's not quite Varian, but he's willing to better himself. We got an RP walk through Stormwind. Nice. We got an RP walk with our boy Ando in here. Although his RP walk is slightly faster than mine, but, but my running will probably outrun him. <sighs> He's one of those follow quests, is he? <laughs> the guards don't know shit. Gen won't be happy, but I'm sure you did your best. Okay, Ando, either slow down or speed up. One or the other, please. I have zero problem with uh, escort or follow quests, but I just want the move speed to be proper. Don't go faster than my RP walk, but slower than my run speed. Like I said, the music, that the slow, sad version of Anduin's theme that plays a lion's rest is very moving. Don't be Anduin, be very, and he's tougher. My dad says that too. Okay, I'm kidding. can't blame the lad for his choice. <laughs> my father sacrificed everything to save his people. He was a great king. Yeah, he's not wrong. This music, though. I have not returned to Lion's Rest since my father's memorial was moved here from the keep. The war has consumed all of my energy and attention. I have not had a moment to grieve. Since you brought my father's compass back to me, I've prayed to the light for guidance, and to know his spirit is at rest. The light doesn't answer. My people like me, respect me, but they don't believe in me. Not like they believed in him. And I've heard the voice of the people, but how do my father's advisors feel? I fear they do not trust me as they did my father. I must know. Like, uh, I've spent up until, like, pre-patch, hating Anduin as a character. I, I knew he had potential, but... Um... I'm really hoping to see it pan out. I'm really confident that it will, because it's not like everyone loves Anduin blindly. You know, people do see that he's kind of weak, but he's just trying so hard to prove himself, and he wants to prove himself. So, I'm hoping we see that. Again, Gen's being a bit cold, but he's not wrong in what he's saying by any means. Okay, and he's waiting for us at Deliverance Point. Alright, Mandarin, where you at, boy? He, okay, he's got some kind of holy fire, that's good. Also, a big thanks and shout out to Talius and, and Evatel uh, for recommending the use of the add-on called Adapt, which you can get from the Curse app, or it's not called the Twitch app, uh, that helps your unit 
That helps your uh, unit frame uh, be a little bit more animated. You know, and you know, same with whoever you select. I don't know, it just adds a touch of animation and immersion to the game. Uh, we're making our way to Rinfall. Now, there's that Fell Reaver head. I have lived my life sheltered by the blood of heroes like Tyrion and Olvar. Heroes like my father. The time has come for me to do the same. Come on, Andrew. me to the place where my father died. I must see it for myself. I don't usually promote instancing, but if they could instance this, that'd be a bit nicer. It kind of breaks my immersion. There's just fucking players on their mounts just standing there with their dick in their hand. Okay. It's time. Ever shut up. Yeah. This is where his father fell. The boy has never known the horrors of the Legion as we have. No. I haven't. And to him. How could you just leave? I had to come here. My boy, you don't need to see this. You never surrendered. Even here, at the very end. I cannot do this, Father. I can't be the hero you were. I can't be the king you were. Anduin, your father's actions were indeed heroic. They were his challenge to us, his people, to never let fear prevail, even at the very gates of hell. supposed to do now what a king must do yes yes Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so like a lot of people, I've spent a lot of time kind of hating Anduin, you know, all the way through Miss Pandaria, even through Warlords, but he, that didn't count because he wasn't really doing anything. But in Legion pre-patch, when we knew Varian was going to die, I kind of, I saw a potential, a glimmer of hope, that without his father, he would have to just go by his father's example. His father's example and learn to lead you know, the hard way, getting thrown into it after having been sheltered for so long and been a peacemonger for so long instead of a warmonger for, you know, like his father kind of was. That cinematic was fucking awesome. It tugged at all the right feels. Um, the music, uh, you know, was just amazing. Seeing his father when he picked up fucking Chalamet and, like, the light went back into it. <sighs> Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing Anduin develop, and he's not going to be the king his father was in the general sense. Um, he's a he's a better politician than his father was, but his father is a stronger-minded individual than Anduin is. So I think he can combine those. You know, he can be the strong-willed human his father was, and still be the tactful, political, uh, peaceable human that he is now. I feel like he can become the best of both worlds, and I've got a lot of confidence about Anduin becoming a much better character. 
All right. That's all I got for you today. And so see me again. Live well.